Good morning, stepsons. How are you today? It's Blue Shirt Friday. Shave day. So, i got a question for you. How would you like to feel better about yourself every day? Would that be good? Some days do you just feel like maybe you're you don't feel good about yourself. I get that because it well, I hope so. There we go. Because that goes into adulthood too sometimes. You just don't feel good about yourself. New hand soap. Smells different. Ugh. So I got a secret for you. I'm going to teach you something you can do every day that's going to help you feel better about yourself. I want you to think right now about who you know and your, your friends, your family, your friends or family, someone in your neighborhood, um, that you could do something for that they would appreciate, that would help them. Who would it be? Might be your mom. Might be one of your siblings, one of your brothers or sisters. Might be one of your close friends. Maybe. Maybe one of your school teachers or classmates. Maybe you know someone that is having a challenge of some sort and you can help them. This is the secret of how you can feel better about yourself. Figure out who it is that you can help and help them today. When you do that, you are going to get a great feeling inside. And they are going to appreciate and feel good about you too. There was one time, I don't know if I've told this story or not, but one time I had a date. And uh, we only had one family vehicle. And my mom was out somewhere and we talked about this before and she was gonna make sure she had the car home before I needed to go on my date. But she forgot. Now she felt real bad after, but she forgot. She didn't get home. So I'm home looking at the clock knowing I, I need to leave to not be late to pick up my date. And uh, I have no car. I have no way to go get her. I mean, this is before cell phones. I know that seems like cell phones have always been here, but I guess I could have called her house because we did have house phones, but I really didn't want to call her and tell her, oh, I don't have a car. I can't come pick you up yet. I think this was a first date, too. Anyway, I had mentioned to one of my friends earlier in the day that that was that my mom needed to come home uh, so that I'd have the car for my date. Well, this friend of mine was actually, uh, he had his own car, which was kind of rare back then. He was a little older than me, a couple a year, maybe two years older than me. But we'd been together earlier in the day, and I told him of the situation that my mom needed to come home. And he told me then, he says, well, if she doesn't come home, give me a call because you can use my car. And I thought, I thought, yeah, that's nice of him, but I... I imagine he probably really doesn't want to. I mean, he kept his car really nice. He, uh, um, it was a Chevelle, a Chevy, something or other. And he kept it really nice. Clean, waxed, cleaned inside all the time. So I knew he really kind of cherished his car. And I didn't figure I'd need to. But here I am. The clock's ticking and I'm watching it. And Mom's not coming home. So I called him. Hey, Lynn, 
Is it okay if I use your car? My mom's not home. Sure, come get it. Or I think he might have even driven it over to me, and I, and then I dropped him back off at his house. And I took his car on the date that night. You know how many years ago that was? That was probably 45, no, 40 years ago. 40, maybe 40, maybe 38 years ago. Anyway, it was a long time ago. And I say that because I still remember his generosity when he was willing to share his car with me. He did some service for me that I still remember 38 years later. And now I'm telling you about it. So why do I tell you about it? Because you can do that type of same thing. Now, it may not be that big of a deal. It may be something small. But go find someone today that you can serve, you can help, and do some service for them. You don't even have to let them know it was you that did it if it's something you can do anonymously. And it will make you feel better about yourself. And it's going to help them feel good, positive feelings as well, too. So, Johnny, as you go throughout your day today, look for opportunities to serve others, to help them, and do it. And when you do, you're going to feel a lot better about yourself. All right? We'll see you on the next shave video.